John D. Kemp was born in 1949 in Waterloo, Iowa, as a congenital quadruple amputee. I was born without arms or legs off at the elbows and the knees, approximately. There is no known reason why my birth anomaly occurred. When he was just over a year old, his mother died of ovarian cancer, leaving his father, a civil engineer, to raise three young children. He was such a, an incredible human being. He was firm, he was fair, he was loving. He just wanted to do the best for all three of us. By the age of three, John was fitted with artificial arms and legs, and soon he was able to do almost anything other kids could do. When I learned how to use my arms with elbows, they were smart enough to say, I'll get you a soft drink. And it was a seven up in a bottle. And they said, and if you turn your clamp a certain way and open up your clamp, you'll be able to grab onto the bottle and you'll be able to drink it yourself. I was like, really? That's cool. John's father served as his mentor and fought to get him admitted to mainstream schools, encouraging John to believe in himself and to face the challenges of day-to-day -day life head on. For him to decide when I was four and five years of age that I was going to go to a regular public school and be included, that, that's profound. I was being told, and my dad was being told, that I was going to be sent 100 miles away. And he just said, kids go to school in their neighborhoods. I think my dad was just so far ahead of his time, and I don't know where he got his wisdom. I really don't. And like most kids his age, John loved sports, especially baseball. I wanted to be a pro baseball player. I would play with my dad in the evening. You know, he never said, you're, you're never going to do that. But you know, eventually you realize I can't keep up and I got to find something else to do. So I became a student manager. When I got to high school in Frankfort, Kentucky, I got to sit on the end of the bench with the players. I got letter jackets. I lettered every year. I was so proud of that. I got seven letters by the time I finished. As the 1960 National Easter Sale Society poster child, John traveled from coast to coast, representing all children with disabilities and serving as an advocate for what people with disabilities can do. Really got into it. I started realizing that I had a voice, that I had a perspective, that I knew I was different, but that I also knew that I was equal. After high school, John earned a bachelor's degree from Georgetown University and continued on to law school at Washburn University in Topeka, Kansas. Since then, John has spent his life working to make opportunities available for all people with disabilities. I am really humbled to be part of the disability rights movement. I think there are everyday folks with disabilities out there that are having such a great impact, a lasting impact on other individuals without disabilities. And if you change one person's view of not only that disabled person, but of how they view life, and how they view other people in a more equitable way, you've done a great service to humanity. As a member of the National Hall of Fame for Persons with Disabilities, John has many more goals he would like to achieve, including advocating for fair and equitable workplace opportunities for people with disabilities. Employment means everything to a person with a disability, or almost everything. When you see someone who's wanting to work with their disability and can perform to the standards that are set by the employer with reasonable accommodation, better grab them up. All the research shows that they have greater loyalty to the employer and they're very good employees generally. Despite being born with his disabilities, John says he has lived a normal life. Would I prefer not to be disabled? I don't know. All I can say is I've lived a great life with a great family and with a great partner in Sam and with great kids and grandkids and an incredible career. Hopefully contributed something to the, the upward evolution of people with disabilities, the progress that we've made in improving access to services and supports that people need to live a decent life. We're not there yet by any means at all, but we're getting there.